So Redux is a state management library for JavaScript applications. In other words, Redux is used to manage the data or state of complex JavaScript applications. Now you might ask, what is state management? Let me explain you with the example. So here we created an e-commerce application with complex user interface. Now in this part, users will add items into their shopping carts. Now user add items and we have to show the number of items in shopping cart at the header or we can show more details on another part of page. Now in this situation, we have to sync or we can say manage our application state. So our application works great. Now you might ask how Redux will manage our application state. So in Redux, we create a JavaScript object for storing all state of our applications. So all details about shopping cart list is in one JavaScript object and we call it as a store. You can imagine the store as a database for our front end. Now wherever we want to display that details, we simply call that data from Redux store and we don't need to get worry about syncing data manually. There are many state management tools like Flux, MobX and Redux. Redux is the most popular tool for state management. Now the good thing about Redux is you can use Redux with React, Angular, Vue or with vanilla JavaScript. With Redux, we can centralize our application state. Redux will make our data flow transparent. We can easily debug our applications with one of the best debugging tool. And we can also preserve the page state of that application. We will see all of this later in this course. Now all advantages are come with disadvantages. First one is a lot of developer are find Redux very complex. But that is not true. I think they find it complex because Redux is based on some functional programming concepts. Don't worry about that. We will see all that concept soon. And another disadvantage is for Redux, we have to write a lot of boilerplate code. So in this course, first I will show you the traditional way to write Redux code. And after that, we will write code in the modern way. So you don't need to write a lot boilerplate. 